Let's plot some points on the Cartesian plane. The Cartesian plane consists of two axes. It's a horizontal axis, which is typically called the x-axis, and it also has a vertical, vertical up-down axis, which is typically called the y-axis. Now, if we want to plot a point onto the plane, so let's call the point A. The point, we always give points in terms of their coordinates, which tell you the x and the y values of the point. So let's say, for example, we're talking about a point 1, 3. Um, let me just write this a bit nicer, 1, 3, like that. We put it in little brackets like that, 1, semicolon, 3. This 1, the first one here, is always telling you how far left or right you are. In other words, how far horizontally you've moved. In other words, it tells you about your x value. This, the second one, the 3, that is always telling you how far vertically you are, up or down. In other words, that tells you your y value. So let's have a look at how this would work out. Say you've got your x value of 1. That means that from your resting point vertically, right, from the zero point vertically, which is here, you, from your zero point horizontally, sorry, let's start that again. If you've got an x value of 1, from your zero point horizontally, you have moved one step to the right. That means you will end up having moved one step horizontally somewhere on that red line. And everywhere on that red line, you've got an x value of 1, which just tells you you're 1 over, 1 to the right, horizontally. Similarly, if we have a look at this y is equal to 3, what we're saying, the y always tells you how far up or down you've gone. So from the sort of neutral, the resting point, the zero point, you're going to go three steps up. And so you will end up somewhere along that blue line over there. So anywhere on that blue line, you are three steps up from the resting point. So you're at a y value of three. Anywhere along the red line, you are one step over to the right horizontally, so you are at an x value of 1. What we want for point A is we want to have both of those things. We want to have be one step over horizontally and three steps up vertically, and so we are at that point where those two meet, right? Where the x is 1 and the y is 3, that's where you will find your point A. Okay, let's just look at one more example. Say we wanted to plot a point, uh, negative 2, negative 5. Okay, so the only thing different about this is the negative. And the negative just tells you horizontally, instead of going right, you go left. In other words, you go towards the negative side. And vertically, instead of going up, you go down right, towards the negative side. So it's the same basic story. So what we've got here, here is our x value. It's negative 2. x always tells you how many steps you've gone horizontally. So what we've gone is we've gone two steps horizontally to the left. In other words, we are going to end up on that red line, which is two steps away horizontally. And then what about this y value of minus 5? That just tells us we've gone five steps down. In other words, we start from our neutral point and we go five steps down. And we're going to end up then Anywhere along that blue line is going to be where you've got a y value of minus 5. Where is this point? It's got to be exactly where you've got a negative 2 and a negative 5. So it's over here at this black dot. If we call this point B, there it is. Okay, just to check that you've got it, I'd like you to plot the point C, which is negative 5 
1, and I also want you to give me the coordinates of point D, which I've drawn there. Okay, pause the video now, try it in your homework books, and then we'll quickly go over it. All right, so let's start with C. For C, we're talking about five steps over to the left, and we're talking about one step up. So five steps over to the left, one, two, three, four, five to the left, and then one up will land, land me over here for C, right? You might have done it by putting in the value, the lines here, five steps over and one step up. And then you would have seen that C was over there. But you can do it in a slightly quicker way by just saying, okay, five steps over gets us there, one step up there, and that's where my C will be. What about D? Well, how many steps over are we? We are two steps to the right. So my X coordinate is two. And then Y coordinate how, where, how far am I down? I've gone three steps down, right? I can read it off there. My y-coordinate is negative three. 